so for those who don't know me, my name is Blake Gardner. Uh, hi. Uh, I work at a company called Best Fit Mobile, and I handle their, uh, their back-end infrastructure for mobile applications. I manage a couple of mobile apps, and one of them has over a 1 million install base. So I'm kind of their back-end data guy, optimization, stuff like that. Uh, but the thing that I'm actually going to show off today doesn't really have anything to do with web, and it's probably something that you should never be doing in PHP, which is uh, MAC address manipulation. Hey, that, and, that's uh, never stopped you in, in, in the past. <laughs> uh, yeah. Surprisingly, it works well. Um, I wrote this a couple of years ago when I was interested in like security auditing type stuff. Um, and I wanted to, you know, integrate some stuff with like, uh, if, if anybody here is familiar with any of the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, security frameworks like Metasploit, a couple of those, maybe you want to get into security and PHP is the only scripting language you know. Uh, as far as I can tell, based on my searching, there's nothing that exists for PHP like this right now. So uh, if you want to follow me on GitHub, uh, you can go to github.com slash Blake Gardner. And, uh, got two repos up there, but here's the, uh, the PHP MAC address. Uh, I wrote this probably in 2009, and I just recently found it on one of my old hard drives. I took it, I resurrected, I kind of rewrote it a little bit and made it pretty. And uh, so there's a little synopsis here. It tells you that you can you know, do manipulation, validation, uh, that kind of stuff. And I kind of have an example here, just a, an example of usage. Uh, the features are you can generate MAC addresses and set them to an interface. Uh, you can just generate just text MAC addresses if you need it for whatever reason. I don't know. That you could use that in a web app. You can validate MAC addresses. You might want to use that in a web application for some reason. Uh, and you can set a fake MAC address uh, with this. And uh, this this uh, method here actually accepts two parameters. If you only set the first parameter, which is the interface, uh, it'll just generate one for you. <coughs> and uh, here's the second example of that, where I'm actually giving an explicit uh, MAC address to set. So I got a, a, a virtual box uh, Debian VM here, because I don't want to mess around too much with my uh, OSX installation. But uh, this actually works well under Mac OS X. I've been testing with it. But just for the sake of this demonstration, I, I set this up today. Uh, I've got a, uh, can you, everyone see that? Or is that, I'm going to make it bigger. So I've got a, a terminal window here that's running the ifconfig uh, command over and over again so that you can see the Mac address of the system. Uh, the hardware address of the ETH0 interface. And when you pull down the, the code on GitHub, there is an example PHP file, which has, it's basically the same thing that you saw already. It's just, uh, it's an execute, you can execute it on the command line and get an idea of how the class works if you want to just try it out. Uh, be careful with this though, because you will lose your internet connection for it. <laughs> uh, so it's probably not good to run it on a server or something like that. Um, so what I did here, back in my Debian uh, VM, I broke the, uh, the example into separate files so that we can actually go through and test each one individually. Uh, right here, this is git mac. Um, all this does is just gets, it gets the current system MAC address. You know, as you can tell, it's the same thing that comes up. That's all it's doing is grabbing the MAC address. You don't need any administrator privileges for this method unless uh, you have uh, permission problems. You might have to ask your system administrator to, uh, to access the I, to the ifconfig utility. And uh, th just so you know, if you read the code, a lot of these are based on ifconfig. Uh, a lot of it's regular expression matching to figure out what the current MAC address is, setting a new one, things of that nature. So there's git mac. That's simple enough. Uh, here's a generate method. Uh, this just generates new MAC addresses just randomly. Um, you can use that you know, for whatever web application, command line type stuff 
automation. Uh, here's a validate, and if you look at the example, you can just kind of play around with it. Um, I don't know why you want to validate a MAC address, but maybe uh, <clears throat> for some type of web application, you've got MAC address stuff. I don't know. It's just there. <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, here, this one will generate a new random MAC address and set it to my system's interface. So if I look at this terminal and see my current MAC address of uh, 0 EAC ending, if I set this, setting a new randomly generated MAC address, if I go back here, my address has changed. And uh, a lot of people don't know that, but you can actually change your, your system's interface, the, the MAC address, and that has all kinds of implications for security purposes. Maybe a system administrator has the network restricted based on MAC address, uh, different things like that. You want to do some sort of wireless security auditing and uh, you want to be able to change the MAC address on the fly for whatever purpose. Uh, so you can just kind of run that over and over again and you'll get a, a new MAC set to your system. Uh, this one just sets a, a specific MAC address that I'm hard coding in there. So I'm just telling it, hey, set this, and I should see that 790A. <coughs> and uh, here's the, the example file that comes with the Git repo when you pull it down. It's just an example of everything. Uh, you can run that over and over and just kind of see it changing the system's MAC address over and over again. Uh, it's just kind of fun to play around with. I, you know, like I said, I don't know if there's any use for this thing, but I figured it'd be fun to talk about. And I know it's not, you know, <laughs> PHP is definitely not the language for this, but you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, as a PHP coder, you might have, need to do system automation. You know? And I've definitely done a ton of that in, in PHP and gotten away with a lot of stuff. And here's an example of just one of the reasons why PHP is so versatile. Not a lot of people do command line stuff in PHP but you can definitely get away with some really cool things with it. Uh, so I think that's it, unless anybody has any questions. <coughs>